So 6 9 is doing a video with Nicki Minaj and Kanye West. And yet, it got shot up. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Hey, don't forget to check out the link of the day in the description. You got a choice. You got talent. You got a chance, and I won't hear about your environment, what your mama didn't give you, and the white man won't give you no shot. You got a chance. Use it while you're still alive. You don't know what death is. You have no idea what death is. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so. Yeah. So 6 9 Nicki Minaj, Kanye West, walk into a bar. You got it. They're doing a video together. So if they're doing a video together, they obviously have a song going on together. Okay, so remember when 6 9 a while back, not really a while back, it was like a couple of days ago, he said he has a lot of new music coming. He's like, yo, we got a lot of hits coming up. We're going to be all over the billboards. I guarantee him to you. He was talking really confident about this. Now, if you're telling me that he's going to be on a song with Nicki Minaj and with Kanye West, I'm kind of saying, yeah. He's probably going to have some Billboard hits coming. Now, before I even get into a little bit more of that, I want to say this. Nicki Minaj needs to kind of repair her career. Kanye West kind of needs to repair his image. So, uh, this is what people are doing now? People be trying to hate on this young man, uh, 6 9 but... If he's helping to put people's careers back together, I'm just saying, that's what it looks like. Anyway, so they were at a video shoot somewhere in Hollywood, in some mansion, I'm going to assume, and there was a drive-by shooting. It's being reported that right after the drive-by shooting happened, Kanye West left. Uh, Nicki Minaj wasn't reported to have been there when it happened, but right after the, Kanye West, right after the shooting, Kanye West left. So... I mean, what's going on with that? For everybody that don't know, I'm pretty sure everybody knows, but for everybody that don't know, there was recently a situation that happened in Long Beach when at Complex Con. Uh, for everybody that don't know, it's a convention. That's what con means because, you know, sometimes people don't get this. Comic Con, comic book conviction, convention, Complex Con, Complex convention so i guess it was like gonna have like shows and artists and everything performing there and a whole bunch of other stuff going on and so when 6 9 showed up to try to get in the building he was prevented access not by slim 400 but by security at the event they decided that they just wanted 6 9 to leave after slim 400 showed up and carried on whichever which way he did i don't know however you want to uh digest that information i don't know if you want to say carried on i don't know if you want to say stood up for himself i don't know if you want to say being a you know an explicative personally me i think he just showed up for confrontation knowing that the confrontation was going to prevent six nine from entering the building and also was going to you know try to steal some of six nine's clout that's possibly what it could have been for i don't know don't at me Anyway, so after that happened, there also was a situation where YG, I oh mean, I guess I left this part out, right? Okay, so I report on a lot of 6 9 news over here. So some of the news that I report that isn't tied directly to a, a, a story that I'm already covering, I just don't cover because there's already too much 6 9 going on. He's everywhere. I'm pretty sure somebody else covered it. So I'm pretty sure that y'all know that YG actually was in a car accident. He supposed to like crash through somebody's living room with some shit. I don't know how that happens. Anyway, <laughs> you know, like, a, somebody was chasing him. Like, was it the It? You know, you might see that movie It Follows. Like, was it the It Follows? Like, was that chasing him? The niggas said floor it? I don't know what happens. Anyway, so he ended up going through like somebody's living room with some shit. I don't know. Anyway, so he was in a car accident. That's the point being. So uh, when he was in a car accident, some people are attributing that to people that 6 9 might know. It, he might have just smoked too much weed. Him and his driver was paranoid. Who the fuck knows? You understand what I'm saying? Anyway, so... um, the, Nobody knows why this happened. Also, 
recently in recent days they actually somebody had a, a a report i don't know if it was tmz or not they happened to actually see um chief keith and they asked chief keith about 69 and chief keith did not want to engage in the conversation of 69 and as we all know as we all know chief keith don't talk about 69 as we all also know chief keith is with the shits so I'm just saying, I'm not saying Chief Keith had anything to do with anything. I'm not saying anyone had anything to do with anything. I'm just saying, when people don't want to talk about you, sometimes it's about, sometimes it's because they, they planning on acting on you. With that being said, there's no reason to believe that Chief Keith had anything to do with this at all. It was just a drive-by shooting. It could have been anyone. Hell, freaking... Takashi could have did it himself. I'm not saying he did. I'm just saying that's just how much of anyone it could have been. He could have said, yo, we need some extra publicity. Let's, uh, before Nikki get here, let's shoot up the front of the building. Who the fuck knows, yo? I don't think that that's what happened. I'm just saying. There's a lot of different scenarios that could be out there. I don't think we have enough information currently to know exactly what's going on. But this much I'll say. We would not know about this damn video if the shooting didn't happen. So whoever sent them mofos to do whatever they were sent to do, they didn't stop shit. Because the song is still going to happen, and the video is still going to happen. All they did was help 6 9 promote whatever the fuck song this is going to be. That's all they did. So whoever did this, congratulations on failing down. Like, there's a way to fail up, and there's a way to fail down. This was failing down. You gave him publicity, which everybody is always talking about us, um, uh, you know, YouTube personalities, content creators, and how we talk about 6 9 Why y'all giving him clout? Why y'all talking about 6 9 What Us? Look at the niggas shooting at him. Why, what about them? We're reporting on people shooting at him, right? <laughs> Think about it. We're reporting on people um, throwing shade at him over the internet, right? We're reporting on the police arresting his people, right? We're reporting on the courthouse to having him come in for cases. Why don't you talk about them giving him clout? We ain't giving him clout. We're reporting on shit. Anyway. So uh, they still going to do the video. The video is still going to happen. There's no reason why the video shouldn't happen. There's no reason why the song isn't going to happen. But think about this. Two days ago, I think it was two days ago, he drops the little clip of him and Tory Lanez, right? Now we find out about... Him, Nicki Minaj, and Kanye West, right? Who the fuck else is he going to do it? He going to have a track with Bob Marley out there and shit? Seriously, I'm not even joking at this point. Who else is going to try to revive their career <laughs> by getting on a track with 6 9 This is crazy. Remember, um, these dudes tried it. 50, Casanova, and uh, Uncle Murder. I think that was an Uncle Murder song, though. Wasn't that an Uncle Murder song? I'm not 100% sure. But 50, Casanova, Uncle Murder tried that shit. Who else is going to try to get a little bit of boost off of the name of this young man that is so many people seem to hate and so many more people seem to love? Anyway, leave the comments down in the description. I want to know what y'all think about it. Um, Like, who's shooting at this nigga? Is it like Yosemite Sam and shit? <laughs> I'm joking because nobody got hurt. I'm very happy nobody got hurt. So I'm making jokes. But I mean, like, who did this shit? Like, what in the hell? Oh, man, yo. Let's, I'm just happy nobody got injured. I'm happy nobody got hurt. I'm happy it wasn't uh, like the situation that happened in in uh, uh in Manhattan on Fifth Ave where somebody actually did get hit. And I hope that that person is recovering well. I hope because I still think that them niggas ran down on them. I don't think I don't think six nine people ran down on them. I think they were there trying to have a conversation, and the other motherfuckers escalated the situation. You're gonna have to show me footage. To t for, I don't give a fuck what a witness says because them whites down there not trying to be racist. This is not on no racist shit. But I'm just saying, sometimes people see black people and that aren't and they're not black themselves and they misinterpret shit that we're doing so that's what i'm saying i'm, I'm saying that and that only that's what i'm saying so i'm gonna need some kind of video evidence that they started this shit before i'm gonna go 100 in on they absolutely started it because i mean i've spoken to people that have tried to antagonize me before 
and fell for the banana in the tailpipe. I believe that this is just a situation where down on 5th Ave, they might have fell for the banana in the tailpipe. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification game. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.